because the other one went with it. Uh, the Anna. Anna. Mm -hmm. That's the Anna. Is that right? We just got back from Scrub Fest 2 in Orange Springs, Florida, and it was a great and wonderful event. If you weren't there, you missed it. But while we were there, we took some highlights, and we're going to show you everything that you missed if you weren't there at Scrub Fest. So we got to Scrub Fest at 8 o'clock in the morning got set up where we were going to be, Michelle and I, and we were just outside the gate. And so I was able to get some footage of, every, of everyone that was lining up at the gate for to uh, enter Scrub Fest. And all the people that were coming in, like the vendors that were setting up and everything. And at eight o'clock when everything opened, it was just nonstop all day long. People were just coming in, coming in, coming in. and as the day went more and more people come in i spoke at two o'clock and by the time two o'clock came around there were well over 400 people that traveled to attend this event fig trees and fig tree varieties i was hooked i joined the group i met the people and there was a, a collector just not too far from here and i ventured all the way to his house to go meet this guy and uh, he's like, yeah, they're just sticks. And he opens up his refrigerator and he's got thousands of... So as soon as the gates were open, people were immediately going down to the nursery area that Sam has uh, set up at the very back of his property. And it is an amazing setup. Here's some clips of Sam's nursery. Sam set up his nursery underneath all the live oaks at the back of his property. And the way that flows through the woods is absolutely amazing. If you're down there in the hot summer sun and you want to visit a nursery, you don't have to worry about uh, burning up from the heat because it's nice and cool and shaded in the area. And I got some really nice footage of everything. So enjoy these little clips of the walking tour around Sam's nursery.
I kept going back throughout the day just to walk through the nursery and, and see what everybody was doing. And there were lines backed up to the cash register and people were just checking out and checking out and checking out. And um, as you checked out, and if you wanted to attend the, um, the classes and the lectures that were going on, you could carry all your plants over between these two shipping containers that were marked off and you could stage your plants there and they would, they would check in your plants with your, your name to make sure that no one else got your plants. And then you could go off and enjoy the rest of the event without having to worry about do your shopping, take your plants to the car, then come back and then attend the event. And it was really a real smart design of how all that was laid out. And uh, I was really impressed with how that part of everything flowed. So there was a whole list of people speaking starting uh, real early in the morning and the speakers went non-stop until the event was over. I think on into six o'clock when David had two speaking events and uh, it was just a wealth of information. People were asking questions to the uh, speakers. They were getting their questions answered and you could even go over to where David was uh, at and you could get one-on-one -on -one with him and sign his books and buy whatever the stuff is that he had for sale. And uh, so you got one-on-one -on -one with David, which was really good. And that's one of the good things, one, one of the good things about going to these events is you get to meet all the people that you see and you get face-to-face -face with them and you get your questions <laughs> at, answered that you've been dying to ask. Now I took the camera and right behind where we were set up was Sam's Orchard and that was all right behind where some of the vendors were set up. And I went through there and I took some video footage of all his fig trees and all his fruit trees that he had in the orchard. And so here's some highlight clips of some of the things that he's got planted out in his orchard. All in all, the weather was really good at the event. And it, whenever I got up to do my speak on establishing a backyard orchard was right at the time that we were having a solar eclipse. So as I'm going around to go get in line to step up to do my speech, I don't know who it was, but a lady came up to me and says, hey, you wanna see the eclipse? I'm like, yeah, sure. I forgot there was even an eclipse going on that day. And then she handed me some glasses and I could look up and people were taking their cell phones and recording the event on their cell phones so that they could look at the cell phone and see the eclipse. And I thought that was a pretty cool uh, little thing added into the day that nobody planned for. You can't plan for that. The weather was absolutely perfect. It was mid 70s overcast and uh, it wasn't hot. It wasn't cold, a little bit of a breeze blowing and uh, overall just a perfect um, climate for an event such as this. All right guys, hope you enjoyed the clips of the, and the highlights of everything that went on at the uh, Scrub Fest 2 event. Go ahead and make plans now to attend Scrub Fest 3. We're gonna try to be there and we hope to see you there. Hit the like button, hit the uh, subscribe button if this is your first time watching and we invite you to follow along. Hope you enjoyed the video. Remember, keep growing, keep building, 
and always keep adventuring. Together, we're Flomington Famous. We'll see you next year at Scrub Fest. Thank you.